So Bitcoin has hit one trillion dollars in market value capitalization as the cryptocurrency continues to surge what's up guys my name is jermaine young welcome to the channel i talk all things finance related if you're new here subscribe to the channel and i greatly appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up so uh if you've been living under a rock you wouldn't know what bitcoin is but chances are if you're watching this video you have a good idea and good indication of bitcoin and what it is now lately there has been you know companies like tesla who is now buying into bitcoin now get this elon musk made a purchase of bitcoin of 1.5 billion dollars and already that investment of 1.5 billion dollars has made him a return of seven hundred thousand dollars i'm sorry seven hundred million dollars sorry i get the numbers mixed up talking big money here seven hundred million dollars so let's get into some information on why this is a big deal and i'm going to give you my thesis and what i'm doing and how we can you know make more money off of this essentially so as i said bitcoin has hit a one trillion dollar market capitalization now the price of Bitcoin crossed another major milestone today as the cryptocurrency value has surpassed $1 trillion. Now, the digital currency was trading just under $54,000 per coin on Friday as it hit new levels up more than 3% in the last 24 hours. The price of Bitcoin has now gained about 350% over the past six months alone. Prior to that surge, the digital asset has never traded above $20,000. The move has been fueled in part by increased adoption of the cryptocurrency by major investors and companies. The oldest bank in the United States, the Bank of New York Melanin, announced earlier this month that it was moving into the space. Elon Musk Tesla converted some of its balance sheet into Bitcoin earlier this year and said it would start accepting the digital tokens as payment. Market cap is, capital is, is calculated by multiplying the price of the Bitcoin by the number it created. While not a perfect comparison, the $1 trillion market cap would make Bitcoin's value greater than but a handful of the world's largest stocks. Tesla, for instance, has a market cap of around $700 billion, while Apple is valued at more than $2 trillion. To be sure, not everyone on Wall Street has been convinced of Bitcoin's future prospects. Citadel Securities former Ken Griffin said Friday that he was not interested in cryptocurrency while researchers at JP Morgan have said Bitcoin's rally is unsustainable. Now, me personally, like, I believe Bitcoin is the future. Now, it's still unclear how much of the future can it be is it going to be a reserve currency or is it going to be just like a commodity or something that you know people just have tucked in their portfolios you know just as a you know side you know asset or something like think of it as like investing in something besides art so you know one trillion dollars is a lot of money and it's a huge market cap think about it is you know only a few companies that is actually worth a trillion dollars apple um microsoft google which is you know parent company alphabet just to name a few it's, it's not it's not that many in amazon i believe that's it just thinking off the top of my head now the thing is that with people a lot of people are uncertain about is that see there's a certain number of bitcoins that are mined and by a certain year all of those bitcoins are told to be mine so then the question is what happens then but also, the thing is, even myself, I've been skeptical skeptical the last few years on Bitcoin in itself. And, you know, what gives it is intrinsic value and all of that. But it's just become to a point where, as an investor, you lose, it hurts you, it hurts you more. And you lose more in the opportunity course to where you don't buy into Bitcoin to where you could. Now, do I think Bitcoin can see a substantial drop? Absolutely. This is a company, uh, well, not a company, but a cryptocurrency that sees wild swings. It can be up 20% one day and then down 40% another day. Do I see it potentially dropping below 20,000? Possibly, it's, it's like a 50-50 chance. But do I see it dropping to its, 
you know, historic lows to where it was prior to this major rally? Absolutely not. I do think that Bitcoin is something where it is huge volatility. Now, don't confuse volatility with risk. There's two separate things. So, you know, volatility, you know, could be something like Tesla. Tesla, huge volatility. Is the company that's going to go to zero, going to go bankrupt? At this point, probably not. You know, same thing I see with Bitcoin. Will Bitcoin go to zero? I highly doubt it. Anything is possible, but I believe at this point, because so much institutional investors are now into it, like JP Morgan, PayPal, you know, just to name a few, are actually putting their money in it. Even the oldest bank, Bank of New York Melanin, is now putting money into it. Even Tesla. I think soon you're going to see a domino effect of other big companies. So I think as you see more of, quote unquote, the smart money institutional investors pour some money into it. I think you're going to see the rise in price. Also, it is a a um, cryptocurrency to where it is a select number of that is supposed to be mine. So that kind of gives it a hedge on other cryptocurrencies, being that it's a select number. It's like, say, like, you know, owning all the gold in the world and having one place where all of it's collected and then you own all of it. If, you know, you can't get any more, like, say, other commodities like gas or oil, the price goes up. I think you're going to see that also here with Bitcoin. Now, what am I doing? I'm increasing my position in Bitcoin. But here's how I'm doing it, and I'm going to show you how you can buy Bitcoin, own Bitcoin, but also make passive income. Because if you know me, you know my channel, I love passive income. So I'm going to show you how I'm buying Bitcoin, but also earning passive income every month off of Bitcoin. Now, look at this here. You have many ways to be buying Bitcoin, but this is my go-to way right here, and it's called BlockFi. Now, BlockFi, you can put your crypto to work. You can earn up to 8.6% APY with the BlockFi interest account. Now, you can get up to $250 crypto burn bonus when you deposit or with the deposit of 25 or more in crypto. But here, you give a breakdown of what you can actually earn um, as far as like additional bonus for moving or buying your Bitcoin here. So if you buy $25 to $249 as a deposit, you'll get a Bitcoin payout of $15. $250 to $999, $20, $1,000 to $499, $1,000 to $999, $75, and then so on and so on to a max of $20,000 or more, $250 BlockFi will give you. But by buying your Bitcoin and then owning it and holding it here, at BlockFi, you will get interest paid on it. So think of it as like buying a company that doesn't pay you a dividend, but now buying it here it pays you a dividend. So you can own Bitcoin at say pretty much anywhere like, you know, Gemini, you can even buy it on Robinhood, but none of those platforms will allow you to buy and hold your Bitcoin and then essentially pay you a dividend. So me, I would rather, you know, if I'm going to buy something, I'm going to hold it here. Now, what I'm not going to do is, tr you know, basically like move my Bitcoin out because where I own my Bitcoin now, I own my Bitcoin, unfortunately, in Robinhood. Now, I refuse to sell it because if I do sell it and turn it into cash, then I have to pay taxes on it. So I'm going to hold what I have in my Robinhood account as far as my Bitcoin holding. I'm going to hold that there. But as far as future purchases going forward, I'm going to be dumping all of that money into a BlockFi account. And then I'm going to be earning passive income every month on this. Now, I have no plans of selling Bitcoin or converting it into cash. I'm really just going to hold it and try to keep at this point probably like no more than 10% of my overall portfolio in Bitcoin and just ride it to the moon and see how high it goes. I have no plans of ever selling it. Just leave it there and see what it does. But if I can earn passive income on it every month, why not? So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. So a lot going on here. We got a $1 trillion market cap of Bitcoin. But also, here's a way that I'm giving you to where you can buy and own Bitcoin and then also earn passive income every month off of holding your Bitcoin. I hope you enjoyed this video. If 
you have, give this video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to this channel, subscribe to the channel. Also, you can follow me on Instagram. I post pretty much daily there, so if you want to be a part of it there, feel free. My name, my Instagram name is Real Jermaine Young, because it's a lot of fakes. And as always, until next time, peace.